Hey, if you are placing bets on just how much of the Democrats' aggressive agenda they're going to get through the state legislature this year, you might bet against a bill that has not yet been introduced. That is kind of the point. Here's Marshall Zellinger. This is what legal gambling looks like in Colorado, even after last year's Supreme Court ruling allowing states to have sports gambling, just like in Vegas. We want to generate some revenue for the state to go towards some of our most needed priorities. Democratic Representative Alec Garnett, the House Majority Leader, has wanted legalized sports betting in Colorado since his tweet the same day the Supreme Court said we could do it. He still hasn't introduced his bill yet, but plans to do so by the end of the session in May. His bill would allow some casinos to have sports gambling, but mainly it would allow you to do it from your home. The brick and mortar is not the future of sports gaming. If you go to the UK where they've had sports gaming forever, it's all online now. You rarely ever go to a physical window and get a ticket. So here's what has to happen to legalize sports gambling in Colorado. Lawmakers must first pass Garnett's bill that would strike the current state law that makes sports gambling illegal. The bill would also give the Department of Revenue authority to issue sports gambling licenses, but that would be contingent on voters approving a gambling tax. Garnett still hasn't figured out how much the tax will be. So let's say lawmakers pass the bill and the governor signs it. Then it ends up on the November ballot where voters will need to approve the tax on sports gambling revenue. If this is something Colorado wants and they can, you know, vote for it uh, through the tax. And if they don't want it, then it will all go away if the tax isn't passed. If they do pass the still unknown tax, sports gambling would be legal in Colorado and could start by the next Super Bowl. That's a lot to get past voters. And the selling point might be what the tax will pay for. Will it be general fund for anything? Will it be specifically for schools or roads? That's still undecided, but Kyle, getting a tax pass statewide since 1992 has been very limited. We've only done it on sin taxes like gambling. Aha! Pot and cigarettes. Yeah, th that's what everybody always says. You can't pass a tax increase in Colorado unless you want to tax something sinful. All right, thank you, Marshall.